Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and the rest of YouTube. This is Necrostiva, and it's time for Season 2 of the Indigo League of Legends. Now, the rules have changed some for the Indigo League of Legends. I'm going to go over them very briefly for you guys. Um, first of all, in the draft, everyone had to draft um, three OU Pokemon, one Uber out of a certain selection of Uber Pokemon. Uh, you could do three UU Pokemon, and then the rest had to be any combination of lower tiers uh, for the for the last of your four picks. So that gives, that gives everyone a good amount of Pokemon to choose from. And when you're in battle, you can only bring three in any combination of your OU and UU Pokemon. You could only bring two UU Pokemon, and then the last two, of course, are going to be your two lower tier Pokemon. So you can see in this battle up against, uh, in this battle, the Eternity Enders no longer exist here for this league. Now we are the Venus Venusaur, and our first battle is going to be up against the Minnesota Munchlaxes. You can see that the Uber that I chose was Blaziken. Uh, not only is Blaziken one Pokemon that I can actually control relatively well via breeding, um, it can be very versatile too. Uh, speed boost is just such a great ability. I have the ability to mega with any variety of Pokemon, and uh, I don't know. It just is. It's nicely. It's it's nicely versatile. I like that I can go special or physical with it. Now in this matchup, I saw how many Pokemon got and I got smacked down by Mega Glalie, and so I decided to lead off right with it. Uh, he leads off with Mega Garchomp, but I I was not expecting Mega Garchomp. I thought he was going to have regular Garchomp, and for example, uh, Isaiah, the coach of the Minnesota Munchlaxes. His Uber is Aegislash. He didn't even bring it to the battle, so I was quite happy to see that. I knew that Glalie could live any hit except for um, like a Sandstorm boosted Stone Edge or something weird, but he actually goes for Fire Fang. And I was like, please don't flinch or burn, please don't flinch or burn, because I knew I could live it. Actually ran into that same scenario with Mega Glalie in um, a battle competition. I knew that I could live a Fire Fang from a Mega Garchomp. So that is one knocked out Mega Garchomp. Uh, I was afraid he would pursue with a Scavalier, but he actually just goes for Felstinger, which has one of the coolest animations in the game. For those of you who don't know Felstinger, if you knock out a Pokemon with it, then it raises your attack by, I believe, three stages. But that does require for you to KO with that move. Now, as he switches out into his Electros, I switched in Caesar here in the Felstinger, expecting whatever physical type bug or uh, steel type move. I almost knocked out Electros with Knockoff, which would have been pretty nice. Um, I just bring in Latios here. He was one of the three OU Pokemon I chose was the last one uh, that I chose overall was Manectric, of course. Um, Latio switches in on Manectric for free, except for those sets that have Crunch or Knock Off, and since he used Flamethrower, I wasn't too worried about it. I didn't think he would use Crunch or Knock Off against Caesar. Now then, uh, as Kofagrigus comes in here, he finds out that I'm not Scarfed or Specs or anything like that, and I do a pretty good chunk to it with Shadow Ball. Uh, of course, uh, Stab Draco Meteor is more does more damage than a super effective Shadow Ball, but I knew I couldn't KO it in one hit, and I also wasn't expecting Trick Room, honestly. So I wanted to do the damage and then go for Draco Meteor. Seeing that he did set up Trick Room, though, I'm just going to switch around into Drapion. This is my defensive Drapion, which I really enjoy using. You can set up Toxic Spikes, Sponge Hits, just throw around knockoffs. Its only weakness is Ground, of course it's going to take hits. Uh, he does surprise me with Infestation, which of course locks me into the battle as long as Kafagrigus is in here. But that's okay, because I wanted Drapion to be here anyway. I would much prefer Kafagrigus than I prefer my Latios to be uh, infested. Uh, expecting him to switch, I believe I just went for my own knockoff, that's correct. And it actually hits the Escavalier, and I find out that he has Expert Belt, which I don't think I've ever seen that on an Escavalier before, so I definitely didn't expect it. Granted, Bug Steel is actually pretty good coverage, so I'm not surprised that he actually went for the Expert Belt on his Escavalier. With uh, the Megahorn doing that amount of damage, I know I can just sit in here and set up my Toxic Spikes. The downside is, is that I don't really have anything that I want to switch into a Megahorn. Uh, and I don't want Drapion to go down either, so I'm at a kind of a little bit of a tight spot there. And unfortunately, I decided to let Drapion go down in exchange for getting rid of the uh, Twisted Dimensions. I didn't want to switch something in and then have it be slower than the Escavalier. And when Escavalier can learn random coverage moves like Drill Run. Now right here, I know I can force him out with the fire type move. There is no reason to go for high jump kick because I know he has Kofagrigus. So I'm just going to go for a life or a boosted fire blast. And this does a very nice amount of damage to Kofagrigus. Uh, putting in at critical HP. And after two more turns of Toxic, I believe he'll be KO'd either way. So 
knowing that, I can actually just kind of just sit in here and wait for the poison to take him out. Alternatively, I could take the opportunity to switch out into something else, but I figured if he switches, uh, it's going to be on a timer anyway, so I just went for my Hidden Power Ice. I was so happy to breed a Torchic with Hidden Power Ice, Speed Boost, and Perfect IVs. That took a little while, I'm not going to lie. Um, but that being said, I was very happy with how Blaziken did right there. Now with Floor just out, I really can't do much against it with Blaziken. I can hit it with the Fire Blast, but it probably will be something like a 3 KO if it's max special defense. I'm going to go out into Caesar, expecting him to go for some type of setup move or maybe even just go straight for Moonblast. And he goes for Calm Mind, which I thought was weird grand considering that I have Caesar available to use, because uh, this is a choice banded Caesar, so there's, there's not much that... I'm fearing from a floor disc because I can just come in and bullet punch at any point. And he decides to stay in, which I kind of questioned that play, but maybe he didn't think I was banded and think thought that I would over predict and go for a U-turn. But since nothing on this team wants to take the bullet punch and I've gotten rid of Kafagrika so I can't even lose my technician ability through mummy, I have no reason to not continue going for these bullet punches. Now here I think he definitely expected me to switch because he goes for the marvelous explosion and Caesar doesn't mind that too badly. That actually did a little more than I expected it to do. But uh, I'm happy I didn't switch out because that probably would have killed whatever I brought in to take the expected ice type attack or water type attack or whatever. I am locked into Bullet Punch, so I can't do much against the Scavalier right now. We're gonna go out into Blaziken expecting the Mega Horn or maybe the, the Iron Head. Iron Head does a ton of damage for it being not very effective. And I actually miss my Fire Blast, so is. Excavalier is able to KO my Blaziken, and that's a little bit of an anime scenario there. Did not see that coming, uh, but that's that's why I probably should use Ember instead of Fire Blast on Blaziken. Now granted, the Excavalier is missing a good chunk of its HP, so I figured Heliolisk could take it out with a single hit. Um, my Heliolisk is, of course, packing choice spec, so that right there is going to be the end of the battle. But thank you, Isaiah, for this wonderful rematch, of course. He was in the first season of the ILL and helped set up the second season. And you guys will be seeing my next couple of matches here as the ILL continues. I really like the new format. I don't often get to play with Uber, so this really changes things up a little bit. Uh, but look forward to week two of the ILL coming up soon. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.